So what's up guys, Edney right here. In today's video, I'm gonna show to you how I ended up catching this huge, this massive trade you guys are watching right now on my screen on Nasdaq. This trade right here, I took it with over 200 contracts. It's actually with exactly 200 contracts. I already closed at 180. And I think right now I just have, I have how much? I have 20 contracts running, right? But as I told you guys, you guys are probably watching some part of the screen right now if the trade with full contract size. So I took this trade, beautiful trade, as you guys can see, with all the sniper entry, we are on five minute time frames, as you guys, can, you guys can see clearly right here, how beautiful this trade is on five minute time frame, right? I cash the trade exactly on the week. So in today's lesson, in today's masterclass, in today's trade breakdown, whatever you wanna call it, I will show to you the strategy and all the concept I use it to catch this beautiful trade. And I hope you guys, like this video subscribe drop your like and let's go to my training view and let me try to explain to you guys the best i can step by step all the concepts i use it to take this trade okay let's go so right now we are on my trading view let me put it on full screen and right now you guys are able to see and try to understand a little bit of how i took this trade you know as i told you guys i, I still holding the trade because i generally think we i genuinely think it sounds like generally, but it's genuinely. So think that we can actually came like for some level like this, at least below these those lows right here, because I think clearly right here we have a liquidity level, right? And this is a, a critical part of why I, I choose it to, to actually short the price exactly right here. Because I generally think also, again, generally <laughs> think that we can uh, that this move to the upside, all this move to the upside, it's not sustainable. And if it's not sustainable, at some level, it would retreat. I shared it on my Instagram, on my Telegram, on my, on my Reels, you know, everybody, every, every, or over my social media. Uh, just the, the, the inner picture or the, the small picture of why I took this trade. I didn't share uh, the bigger picture, the high time frame scenario of why I decided, okay, let me take this trade right here, let me pay attention to Nasdaq. Because I think something interesting can happen here. And right now, I will try to explain to you guys, of course, because I will have more time because YouTube, you know, I can, I had more time to explain everything I can. Clearly here, if you watch just Nasdaq on the past, let's say since day 10, yes, yeah, since day, day, yeah, day 4 actually, we are on a huge bullish trend, huge, huge, huge bullish trend. And as always, this is not sustainable, but mainly, if you guys pay attention to the day, um, day 23, I took a beautiful trade here. I already did the trade breakdown of this trade. I took exactly right here. It was a beautiful trade. It's here on YouTube channel, on my YouTube channel. Uh, and this huge move, I saw for this huge move to the upside, you know, I ended up closing this trade at some level right here. I closed the trade and I start to pay attention to it because we made some structure here, okay? We have this low, we made this high right here, so we made this high right here, we made this low, and then we made this high, we made this low. Do you agree with me that this is not sustainable? Market is leaving behind a lot of unfulfilled areas, and those areas have a lot of internal rate liquidity. Uh, just think a little bit about it, you know. In this scenario, everybody is making money. The guy that trade wedge, you know, the guy that trade triangle, rectangle, he's making money. The guy that trade Smart money concepts make money. This is me, right? The guy that's trading order block is make money. The guy that's trading, uh, um, I don't know, lunar's move, you know, he's making money. And this is not sustainable because for some people to make money, other people need to lose, to lose money. And in this scenario right here, you guys can see we, you know, let's say you trade sharp patterns. You saw this and you say, okay, let me take this entry. You got this trading breakdown strategy, uh, breakout strategy, he's making money because prices move without leaving traps behind, right? We don't have any bullish or bearish trap, anything that can complicate and make quick uh, and made actually uh, uh, hard or difficult to traders to make money because price is trading so, so well, you know? And this type of scenario is very common. It normally happens when, when we have news on the market on or when we are new to a news announcement, let's say next week, okay? So all this move to the upside, we clearly have some inconsistency in price exactly right here. 
exactly right here we have some inconsistency also on price here also for everybody that is trading right now they are making money on nasdaq but price is leaving a lot of inconsistency and price will need it will need to retrace at some level to fill all those inconsistencies in order for big players to close the year orders and this that's exactly what i had in mind okay price is moving so fast to the upside and at some level it will retrace and i got my first confirmation that price can make something interesting not here right i have a, i have a, another confirmation exactly right here i will try to explain to you guys the, this confirmation very soon but the first confirmation was actually exactly right here with this uh type of uh, uh double bottom that price had created and then we move it forward right we made this huge bullish move but i was paying attention again when price made this move right here because this is also a into trigger confirmation that i use sometimes on one minute time frame but in this scenario we are on 50 minute time frame so i can use this type of reversal sign reversal uh, uh, confirmation that price gave to me to actually spot on a refine zone some point to enter you know and in this scenario right here when price made this internal break of structure that's exactly what i call this when price made this beautiful internal break of structure i was able to start to you know to look to this more careful like okay price probably will after giving me this internal break of structure will move down and price will retreat to feel something and then i will have the opportunity to short so here when i came to the market today i was expecting today sorry yeah not today i was expecting already price to come to some level right here unfortunately what actually happened is price continued to create some zones so if i had to mark structure internal structure actually here it will be something like this on the way i read structure right just to make sure you guys don't start to oh this is not how you you should read structure well, that's just my way and that's the way that works to me if you read structure if you mark structure in another way you know that's just your way i'm not sad or i don't hate you for that you know it just don't make sense because i'm just talking about this because every time someone is commenting on my post like you shouldn't do this you shouldn't do that you should wait for this you should wait for that bro every single trader they think the way they are trading is the best way of trade that's why they are trading this way and i think we should be we should have in mind that different traders do different things that they believe are right at the end of the day the only thing that matter is how many pips you need you catch and if you did if you actually make money or not that's actually what that that's the only thing that matter did you are able to make money you're making this from you're, you're living from the profits you're making or you're just losing money and try to say someone else what they should do that's the only thing that matter in my opinion you know so here you guys can see that we have this high high low high high low low high end large matter and then price actually ended up creating this uh trap right here it's a common thing uh, one of the best thing actually one of the best setups to trade is this one of course we have the the, the v-shaped recovery scenario also when price create a lot of liquidity you know going up or even going down i'm just leaving to you guys a bullish scenario price is going up leave it a zone right here that wasn't mitigated and price drop very fast mitigate the zone and then you know skyrocket again this is another type of scenario that i would really like and this scenario right here the other thing that they use it to take this trade is exactly right here it's what i call liquidity and inducement during zone or just a, a, on a short way of say it lead zone this zone right here if you want to understand why i choose this has a lead zone you need to refine this on a second time frame i won't do this right now with you guys because i think for trying to explain to you guys why i took this trade i already did it so beautiful trade right here build up creation we have a lot of liquidity creation also and i use this to take this trade and i think uh, one of the best trade i took this week it's not better than the, the one i took yesterday to be fair but this is also beautiful right so i want you guys to pay attention to the video that is on the screen right now watch it because it's a, a very educated video educational video and it will help you guys in your journey if you guys think i can help you with something i have a lot of experience and i think if you want to learn something just click on the video that is on the screen right now right see you guys very soon take care bye